Welcome to episode three. Welcome to episode three. Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode three. Today, we're going to install Active Directory. We're going to create our own domain. It's going to be cool. Let's see how we do it. So the first thing you need to go to is your server. I've logged in my server called DC, for uh, short for Domain Controller. It is the only server I have active right now. And what I want to do is I want to install a server role that allows me to manage a network. So I have my server manager open. If you don't have it open, uh, hang on. One. And I restarted it. Don't know why. Okay. So if you don't know how to get server manager, went away. Like I said, you can just uh, type it in here server manager, bring it up. And this is what we work out of 90% of the time when you're setting up a Windows server with all the default server roles. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to add, wait, what I got going on here? Events, what's this? Girdle power. Okay, cool. Okay. Kernel power, okay. Had a, had a blip, electrical blip. Okay manage I want to add roles and features click on next click on DC make sure that's highlighted if you have more than one server click next and we want the Active Directory domain services this box uh, add all the defaults that's fine click next all the features for that role just leave a default click next next uh, check this little box right here, restart if necessary, and click install. So what this is going to do is install our Active Directory domain services. Uh, we're going to have group policy, just kind of be able to monitor and uh, maintain our network from Active Directory. So as soon as this finishes loading, again, Anytime you have a break, anytime you have a little pause, get a little sip of coffee, write down your documentation. All that stuff is good. Come on. Now, on a high end server, these might go, you know, slightly faster, but I, I expect it to take quite a bit. All right, it's done. It's succeeded. We have installed Active Directory. Now, if you had accidentally closed this window, uh, that's fine. But we want to click on Promote this server to a domain controller. If you close this window on accident, you come up here to our little flag notifications area, and you can click it here as well. Uh, promote this server to domain controller. We don't have a domain, so we're going to create a new one. Uh, we don't have anything right now, so we're going to add a new forest. A new forest is like Google. And a domain is like you know Google search engine or another uh, would be like Google Docs something like that so the forest is like the overall encompassing umbrella of your organization so we're gonna create a new domain I'm gonna name it something pretty cool pretty cool dot com you know whatever you want doesn't matter uh, if this is learning purposes it's fine you can name it absolutely anything you want dot whatever uh, but if you are planning on pushing out a web page connected to your domain you might want to do some research make sure that you're not copyrighting uh, getting a copyright strike uh, for putting something like microsoft.com or something like that okay forest functional level domain function level uh, this is how old do you want your servers to be able to be on your network I don't want old servers, I want the newer stuff, so I'm going to leave it at 2016. Uh, create a password. Does anybody remember what my favorite password is? It's Worcestershire sauce. Hard to spell, even harder to pronounce. Okay, a delegation for the DNS server could not be created. That's fine, so we'll create our own DNS by not checking anything. Uh, the dot, uh, the NetBIOS domain name, that is kind of some legacy uh, protocols. We're just going to leave it at that. 
uh, it's going to populate with whatever you put for the .com or .org or .net or whatever it is you put. Just leave it default. Click next. All right. Specify the location of the ADDS database. So this is where it's going to put all of your files. Now, for learning purposes, we don't want to keep defaults. We don't want to change anything. But if you're in an environment uh, that is, is really dealing with uh, sensitive data everywhere and you want to do the best you can against hackers you might want to change these locations but we're going to keep them default next next okay it's checking everything making sure that we're good to go it's checking all our prereqs do we meet the requirements yes we do all right now that our requirements are met go ahead and click on install it's okay if we get a few warning signs we can take care of that stuff later right now we're just kind of just kind of making it happen wait for DNS installation to finish DNS that is the phone book address book of the internet checking group policy so we're getting all of these features with our Active Directory domain services. This is going to allow us uh, to manage all of our computers a lot more easily than if we were in a non-domain or a work group setting. A work group setting, the IT person, the technician, has to go to every single computer to do all the updates and it has to repeat the process and that leaves a lot of room for human error. Now, if you have a domain environment like this, like we're setting up, you only have to come to this one DC domain controller and you can set up group policies and things like that. And so all of your computers across the board will have the exact same rules and setups and, and, and uh, policies. All right, server successfully configured. I'm about to be signed out. It's gonna kick me off that's fine go ahead and click close so what's going to do is it is going to restart the computer remember we checked that box it's going to restart yeah yeah remote ended so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for a little bit uh, for this to catch back up you can't rush these old machines sometimes they take a minute to re uh, reboot Can it work now? Let's see if it can. Would it work? Is it rebooted yet? Nope, not rebooted yet. And this happens. Sometimes this this would be a good time to get your coffee, do some more documentation. Uh, make sure you got everything the way you want it. Plan out your next step. All that good stuff. Looks like it, right? But where's your shire sauce? Nope. Let's try it again. Oh, it's not working. Sure, I got it right. Okay. It's still trying to boot up. Still not uh, doing just right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use a different account, different things like this. We're going to just kind of delete everything. Let's close out. Let's open it back up remote desktop connection we still want DC Let's see if it'll work the old hunk of junk computer it's taking a while 
Okay. So what have we done so far, team? We've installed Active Directory. Uh, we have created our own DNS with our Active Directory. We weren't able to delegate it to any other DNS on the system. So we just kind of created our own. And I'll show you that when I log back in. Oh, come on. I don't know why it's taking me so long. Alright, so let's do. <laughs> let's do this. Instead of DC, let's name it. Pretty cool. Let's see if that works. Ha! <laughs> there we go. Okay. So since we've created our own domain, I had to use a domain name. Don't know why, honestly, but it works. Okay. <clears throat> so we set up our domain. By the time this finishes loading, we'll notice a few things over here on the left that weren't there earlier. Let's see if we can pick them out. Was the dashboard there already? I believe it was. Was local server there already? I believe it was. Was all servers there already? I believe it was. What about ADDS? Was that there? What about DNS? Was that there? What about file and storage? I don't know. Okay, so we have that. Let's take a look at our dashboard. Uh, make sure everything is up and running. Clipboard stop. Don't know why that happens quite regularly to me. Let's restart that. Okay, I like it. All green. Yay! All right, so everything started, good to go. So now let's actually create uh, create ourselves a user. So let's go to Tools in our Server Manager. Go down here to Active Directory, Users and Computers, and this is your actual Active Directory. Just get a boom. Let's drag this over so we can see a little bit more. All right, so I'm going to expand my domain, my forest. And I have a user's organizational unit. That's what these are called. They're not called folders. I mean, they kind of are, but they call them organizational units when you're talking about Active Directory. So over here is all my users that I have. I'm going to right click on the empty spot. I'm going to do new user. Okay, and I'm going to create my own, my first domain admin. So my first name is going to be shit. I'm just going to use it like that. User logon, S dash hit. Go next. I don't want my password to ever, wait. Yeah. I don't want my password to ever expire. I'm going to uh, give myself a complex password. And I'm going to click next. They don't match. I'm fumble fingering like crazy today. can't talk and type at the same time. All right. So full name is s dash hit. There we go. So I'm going to go I'm going to right click on my brand new user that popped up. I'm going to go to properties and I want to give him some different uh, I'm going to put him on some different groups. So I already have domain users, that's normal users for the domain. I'm going to add a few more groups. I'm going to add just administrators, administrators. Check name. When it underlines it, that means it found it. You're good to go. Click OK. And I'm going to add domain admins as well. Domain ad admins. Admins. Domain admins. Click OK. So I have both these new groups up here. I'm going to click Apply. So now I have a domain, domain admin that I can use instead of administrator. So now I can create a folder, organizational unit, to put all of my domain admins in. So I'm going to right click on my pretty cool domain. I'm going to go to new and I'm going to add a organizational unit. I'm going to name it domain admins, domain admins. Click OK. Uh, I have this protect container from accidental deletion. That way if you accidentally 
click on the delete button while on it, it will bring up a message that's like, hey, you click delete on this. Are you absolutely sure you want to do this action? As opposed to just deleting it without asking you. So keep that box checked for anything important. Click OK. Now I have my user. I'm going to take my S hit user. I'm going to put him over here in domain admins. It's going to tell me I moved an object. Uh, some policies might be changed. Are you OK with that? I'm going to click yes. Okay, so now S hit is in the domain admins. I've created a new user, all that is good. So I'm gonna test this out. I'm going to I'm going to sign out of the administrator account. I'm gonna sign in as my S hit account. Cause I'm the super helpful IT guy. What? App is preventing you from signing out. Well, sign out anyway. Leave it alone. Okay. So I'm gonna have to remote desktop again. And this time I'm going, instead of that, I'm gonna just type in S hit and see if that works. S dash hit. Connect. And my password. Sauce. Remember me, because this is the this is the one I'm going to be using all the time. Click OK. Um, this is the same. My SSL certificate is kind of weird. Do I trust it? Don't ask me again. Yes. OK. So now I'm signing in as my S-Hit account. My domain account that I plan on using forever and ever and ever. Uh, and this way, I can delete the administrator account. Be a little bit safe here. So I'll go up. Events. What's events? Oh yeah, okay. Cause I'm a new guy. Okay. I'm a I'm a new admin checking stuff out. It wants everyone to know, hey, this happened. Clipboard service just does not want to work for me. There it goes. Okay. Get all my stuff back to green. There we go. Tools. Active Directory users and computers. Open up pretty cool. Go to users. Wait, where's my domain admins? There it is. It changed places. Okay. Users, I want to right click on my administrator and I'm going to go to disable account. Account's been disabled, that way it's a little bit more secure. Uh, it's harder to guess S hit than it is to guess admin. Okay. So, we set up Active Directory, we set up all this good stuff. Now, what we want to do is add a computer. What computer am I going to add? Well, the one I'm already on, if it'll let me. Why is it? giving me no internet. I just now looked at that. That's crazy. Let's check it out. Local server. It's enabled. It's connected. Maybe it's just not uh, registered yet that it's connected. IP config slash all. Let's see what's going on here. It looks okay. Ah, did, okay. So DNS server. It's asking itself for DNS, but it's not okay so let's go let's fix this real quick let's go to tools and let's go to DNS we're gonna fix a few things real quick so I want to go to forwarders now if I go to my main computer type in CMD IP config all slash all I see that my DNS server is 192.168.88.1 okay so that's what I'm going to use here in a second. I'm going to come up here and I have a forwarder already in place. That's great. Okay. But why? Huh. Why edit? Let's try to add a new one. Let's just use Google 8.8.8.8. .8 Click OK. Click apply. I don't know, man. Properties. Let's change this one to my actual IP. Ad Wait, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. We're working. I don't know what I did. In the comments, you guys tell me what I did. I'm still learning just like you guys. I'm just walking through this, trying my best. So if you know why this changed, I added Google. I mean, I'm kind of guessing, but yeah, there you go. Okay, what was I doing? Oh, computers. Okay. Uh, so if I want to add a computer to my Active Directory list, I can either add new right here, computer, and I can type in all the computer information 
And I could do that, that'd be fine. Or I could minimize my DC. I can go to my actual computer and I can say um, about. So I can look at my computer. I can go to domain or work group, change, and in my domain, what do I name it? Pretty cool. I had a pretty cool domain. Prettycool.com is my domain. Click OK. Oh no, DNS. Make sure the domain name is typed correctly. So it was prettycool.com, I believe. So we had a uh, prettycool.com. I don't believe it's case sensitive. Okay, close, close, close. I don't believe it was case sensitive. I don't know. We'll figure this out next time. All right, there's an error. DNS name does not exist. So we, I gotta go mess with some DNS records real quick. See what's going on. Okay. Until next time. So we've created an Active Directory. We've got our computer back out to the internet. Everything looks hunky dory for now. I'll figure out what I did wrong about adding my computer to the domain. And I'll get with you guys next time. And I'll hopefully have an explanation of, as to why I can't connect the domain. Alright. Bye, guys.